Hey Simlays, it's Dilly Grissy here and I've got a nice little cows video for you guys. A uh, create a sim video for my Barbie Let's Play. Uh, you guys often ask to see the Barbie makeovers so I thought I'd record the makeovers of Onyx and Pearl, two characters who have just aged up in the Let's Play for those of you guys who would like to to watch them uh, being changed into their new teenage styles, which is really exciting. They had a joint birthday. We took them to a restaurant and they aged up and I was such a spud muffin figuring out how to use restaurants and cakes. It was a little bit embarrassing because <laughs> you would think after all of this time of playing The Sims every single day, I would know that you can one, order a cake from a restaurant and two, put candles on the cake twice. So, Oh, thank you for reminding me in the comments that I can actually do that. But anyway, uh, I read a lot of comments and feedback from you guys about what kind of style and personality Onyx and Pearl should have. So I decided that Onyx needed to be changed to have the loner trait. Originally, I think we had like geek trait or something, but yeah, we turned him to have the loner trait. A few of you guys commented you thought that suited him a little bit better and I agreed. And a lot of you guys said, you know, it would be really refreshing if Onyx just kind of wore simple clothes, not over the top fashionable, not over the top obvious sense of style, just normal clothes like a hoodie, converse. And you know what? I loved that idea. So he doesn't really have like a super strong sense of style. He just kind of wears comfortable, nice clothes and he's super casual and he also wears glasses. So I I really love the character of Onyx and a lot of you guys were swooning when he aged up. A lot of you guys thought he was pretty cute and I, you know what? I agree. <laughs> I agree. I think he uh, is very similar looking to his older brother, Jem, who's like the blonde version of him. And uh, I decided to give him kind of a similar haircut to what Jem had or used to have because I wanted him to look like he kind of had similar hairstyle to, to his brother and dad. Uh, and, you know, I just enjoyed using clothing items that I never really used. So uh, you saw a couple of graphic tees back there. We're just trying to figure out what his formal wear would be. In the end, I thought, let's just make his formal wear look really dapper because I feel like Barbie or his older sister Diamonds and maybe Amethyst would help him pick out a suit and they, Barbie would probably pay for a really expensive designer suit for him to have, like that one nice suit for him to have in his wardrobe. Uh, so he wears this very, very dapper blue suit, which we just saw then. Uh, for his sporty wear, he's not that athletic. I don't think he would be fantastic at sports. Or even if he is quite coordinated, I don't think he would be that into sports. So um, I just put him like a comfortable hoodie. His sleep wears just like socks, track pants and a tee. And uh, yeah, for his party wear, I was trying to find... Um, the correct hair actually that goes with his other outfits and uh, we just put him in what a button down shirt so it's a little bit more dressy than his everyday wear at first I was going to put him in this leather jacket from the Sims 4 vampire game pack that just came out but in the end I was like no nah, let's just go with like a plain button top because I feel like a lot of guys when they go to a party they're like okay I'll just wear jeans and a cold shirt and that's easy. So he he wears that. And I even thought the chinos were a little bit too much. So I went for the more gray colored chinos instead of the uh, classic chinos. Uh, and then, yeah, for swimwear, he just wears a hat and he's got some got some board shorts on. So it's pretty simple stuff. And I don't know, I think he's a cutie. So let me know what you guys think. And I really want him to get into computer hacking. I think that would be really cool if he can get into that and be a bit of a hacking genius. Because uh, that's something I haven't really explored in The Sims 4. So I thought that would be fun. Moving on to the gorgeous Pearl Roberts. She's aged up very beautifully. Uh, Ruby, her sister, is quite jealous of her. Ruby's a bit older. And uh, she Ruby loves attention. She loves boys and she's always been a bit of a brat and a bit spoilt in the family and Pearl's very different. Pearl, yes the whole family is quite spoiled but um, Pearl is definitely more I guess uh, elegant about it or not elegant, graceful about it, about having come from a family with a lot of money so you know she's not that showy and she's naturally very pretty 
and um, naturally very thin and clever. And I just think she's very good at presenting herself really nicely and neatly because she's a bit of a neat freak. So I believe Ruby would be very jealous of her. And I think in a part coming up soon, we're going to get Ruby to like cut her hair in the middle of the night or something to kind of sabotage her good looks. Uh, so that will be interesting and have a bit of a fight in the family. Uh, so yeah, I thought in terms of makeup, I didn't want to do anything too over the top. We're just going to do like a simple natural lip, a little bit of blush and that's it. No eyeliner, no eye makeup. She wears pearls because for obvious reasons, her name is Pearl and she always has her hair tightly pulled back. So it's not in her face or anything. She doesn't like any mess or fuss. Everything needs to be clean, pulled back and simple. She wears a lot of white and light colors, or as my mom would say, white. It's not white, it's white. And uh, I thought this first outfit was nice. She wears these light pink trousers with uh, those nice shoe, classic shoes uh, and a plain top. And then she's also got a white jeans and nice simple top outfit as well. She's just one of those people who really annoy me because... They never make their white clothes dirty. Whereas me, no matter how hard I try, if I wear white, it's going to get messy. <laughs> it's going to get messy real fast. So I always get jealous of those people. Uh, and so Pearl is like that. She's very clean, very petite and perfect, you know. Uh, and then, yeah, I was thinking maybe she could wear one of these dresses or the overalls. And in the end, I was like, yeah. The overalls are cute, but still they're a little bit too trend-based for her. I think she's a little bit more reserved and conservative. Uh, so she does show a little bit of belly in this top with jeans, I think, in the end. And then I also love that soon we'll be putting her in a waisted skirt with um, a nice tucked-in collared shirt. So uh, I thought that was very pearl. And yeah, again, the light colors, she, she likes everything to be very light and fresh. Um, and it does reflect her name as well. So yeah, thought it was nice. I think I was struggling to find a top to go with the skirt at this stage, but in the end, we make it to the end of the tops category. I might actually check back to another outfit. <coughs> Bless me, it's a little bit... <coughs> Oh my goodness, it's a little bit chilly in here. <laughs> I think I need my hoodie. Um, are we going to go back? Did we even see the top I ended up picking? Anyways, it's a blue collared top. I think I show it in the screenshots afterwards. I also really liked the idea of having a white skirt with white uh, stockings underneath. But it just I just could not find anything that kind of made it look normal or realistic. I don't know. I just didn't like anything. So we take a very long time right now going through a whole heap of options. I quite liked these tops, actually, because I've never used them before. Uh, but in the end, I'm pretty sure I get rid of that skirt and stockings and we go for something completely different. Uh, but we were trying. We were trying. And I also wanted to use a couple of the new vampire tops as well. I was looking through them, but... They were just a little bit too dressy and a little bit too out there for her. I, in the end, loved this denim jacket with the lacy top underneath and the collared shirt layered. So I was trying to find a way to make it work with the white skirt and stockings. And you know what? It looked okay looking back on it, but it just wasn't ideal. So I believe we get rid of the stockings and we pick uh, just a pretty plain neutral colored skirt. And uh, then that's about it. Because here I am just trying really, really hard to to make it look good. And it just looked a bit weird. I don't know how to explain it. I just did not like it. Uh, but it was quite enjoyable. I was just watching, uh, I was watching some really good musical streamers that I've been hosting recently. Uh, they were playing some music and I really enjoyed that. I dropped into James's stream. I jumped. Uh, dropped into Clint Stevens' stream while I was working on this. So I always find Makeover Cas videos to be very relaxing and really nice to have something on in the background, just like building, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, and I'm just figuring out what to do for formal wear. Uh, I think for Pearl, there are so many options we could have gone with, but in the end, I just wanted something that really reflected her name 
uh, and that was a little bit more out there and stunning for her. So we've gone with actually a plunging neckline where she does show a little bit of Cleveland, aka cleavage, um, but in a really nice, beautiful way. And that's probably a little bit more than what she would usually do for her everyday wear. So I thought that was very pretty. And her hair is out in the hairdo that she actually aged up with in the game. Uh, and then when we head back to everyday wear, I forgot about her glasses. So we're going back, we're adding glasses and, you know, I wish we had some more glasses options. <laughs> I think I was just having so much trouble trying to figure out what she could wear. I kind of liked these Dame Edna crazy nanny glasses, but in the end I thought, nah, it's a little bit too fashion forward for her. Uh, nerd fashion forward in a way. Or hipster rather. So yeah, I just went with the plainer glasses and they're all right. And there we have the uh, the final outfit almost for that denim jacket. Gosh, I was really, really, really struggling to find something that I liked. Oh, we go with jeans in the end. That's right. We go with blue jeans. Yeah, we, we ditched the skirt. And this is her active wear. Just simple white leggings, white tee. Uh, she's going to have full piece bathers because someone in the comments said, I just think she'd wear a full piece. And she's got a couple of pajamas that she can wear as well. Uh, a nighty and like the shirt pajamas, which is cute. And then for a party wear, I think we're going to put her in a dress. Uh, there was a really nice A-line dress that came with the Sims 4 City Living. It was like a classic LBD dress that we could have put her in actually. Uh, but I didn't do that. I just went with this blazer and striped dress in blue because uh, I thought that was conservative but still a little dressy for her and her hair plaited back I thought was really pretty so yeah that's pretty much that's pretty much uh her outfit done her little makeover finished and we do tend to change up the clothes a lot in the Barbie Let's Play so I'm sure we'll be doing another makeover really soon uh, but here's just a couple of the outfits to show you guys her sense of style very casual but at the same time really nicely put together I think and uh, Onyx as well, we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, that's an awkward screenshot right there, like half blinking. And yeah, there's Onyx. So pretty plain, pretty simple, pretty casual. And they're also really good friends, which is nice. Uh, but anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoy the Let's Play. And I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon.